Good morning. This is Anso. We're back with some more of your bodybuilders. It seems to. <clears throat> this is your girl, Charlotte Carolina, and you know the rest of the slogan. I ain't got to go into it. This is the history of bodybuilders. And thank you, motherfuckers, for getting my video to 142 views. Now, y'all might say, wow, just 142 views? But that is a lot for a bitch like me. Come on now, respect where respect is due. Let's get it in. Hit that button, and so do it, girl. Press it. Come on. Why are you not pressing it? Do it. All right. One more time. What? I <laughs>
he's uh, he's a little bit bigger. See, these bodybuilders a little bit bigger, right? These are the ones that like, like the muscles. But if you haven't, you haven't noticed, you notice how it'll be flat one minute, then they just puff it up, and all of a sudden, pow, what? See that? That's kind of amazing to me. And, and every now and then you'll see them do it with the muscles too. And they'll just pop and, and seem like an extra add one is added on. Now the thighs, whoa, I don't know how they deal with the, the thighs being so big, they touch like that, you know, I wonder if they have any problem with them rubbing. And see the, the extra peak right there? Now you know that from work went into that. I mean, they were talking about the female bodybuilders at one time, you know, taking certain body enhancers. But um, regardless of whether they did that or not, that's some hard work right there to get your body to the point, to that point. Yeah.
Then let's go. Look at that. I don't think I fell in the air, but hold that much weight. Well, I guess I got. If I worked out like that, maybe then. But that's some heavy working out. You know what I'm saying? see these girls messing with 
um, certain hormones to that extent. Um, but I think the way they have it now is good to have multiple divisions uh, for a girl that doesn't want to be as muscular, has the opportunity to compete. Um, and girls that do want that muscle also have the opportunity to compete. But I do think it was kind of a bad move to get rid of, you know, women's bodybuilding because that Miss Olympia title, that Miss International title, those titles were big and held a lot of weight. And I think the Miss Olympia for women's bodybuilding got more attention than the Miss Olympia for women's physique. So I don't think they really expected to go down this same road with physique as they went down with women's bodybuilding, although physique is still slightly downsized from what we saw with women's bodybuilding. I think as the years go on, the physiques and and women's physique are getting bigger and more muscular every single year, um, especially the physiques that are being rewarded. However, there is still essentially one big pro show left for female bodybuilding, so it's not entirely dead. Um, There is still one opportunity for those girls that really want to be very muscular to the extreme to compete and win money, and that is the Wings of Strength competition, and that is... Um, is known as the Rising Phoenix. And this year, they actually had a really impressive giveaway. You know, I'm a big Corvette fan, and they gave away a brand new 2019 ZR1 Corvette to the winner of the Rising Phoenix Wings of Strength Female Bodybuilding Championships. So that is essentially the equivalent of the Miss Olympia for female bodybuilding today, although it doesn't get nearly the attention um, that the Miss Olympia got. And not only did they give away that Corvette, which is valued at roughly $100,000, they also gave first place $50,000 in cash, second place $25,000, third place $12,500, fourth place $7,000, and fifth place $6,000. So an insane amount of money being given away still to female bodybuilders that choose to go that route at the Wings of Strength. So I do think that's good. Like I said, there's a lot of people that don't like female bodybuilding, and that's fine. But there is still a fan base and a group of people that do, and there is still a group of competitors that want to pursue that route. So I do think in the long run, it's good that they have the opportunity to do that, and female bodybuilding wasn't just completely shut down. Um, And these girls have no place to go, no place to compete, if this is what their passion truly is. Now, that being said, a lot of people ask me why I don't talk about female bodybuilding or make videos covering shows like the Wings of Strength on this channel. And the reason for that is, number one, like I said, there's a large amount of people that don't really like female bodybuilding. They're not into it. And number two, YouTube doesn't seem to like female bodybuilding. Every video or almost every video that I've ever done on a female bodybuilding topic has gotten demonetized, which as a result, it didn't get really any views because it wasn't recommended to people. It didn't get out there. It didn't get shared. Um, and of course, it doesn't make any money. So for whatever reason, YouTube pretty much immediately demonetizes and just uh, suffocates videos about female bodybuilding. That's really why I don't cover it. Um, and also because I don't believe the fan base is really big enough to warrant making videos about it, especially on this channel. I almost never see comments um, saying make more female bodybuilding videos. It's usually on Instagram. A girl will DM me and say, hey, you know, I'm, I'm interested in learning more about female bodybuilding. Make some videos about that. And the same is true for the current divisions, bikini, figure, um, and physique. Whenever I make videos about those, they get demonetized as well. I'm assuming because of the sexual nature of the images. I mean, if you make a video about a bikini competition, you're showing, you know, what, 20, 30, 40 girls posing in pictures that are, you know, showcasing their boobs and their butt, um, just stuff like that. I can kind of understand why that would get demonetized, but then regular bodybuilding videos don't. So... It's kind of just a controversial topic. I'm sure this video that you're watching right now um, is already completely demonetized. But I do think it's a topic I needed to address. People were asking about it, so I wanted to talk about female bodybuilding briefly in this video. So let me know what you guys think about female bodybuilding no longer really being a relevant category um, in this sport. Miss Olympia has gone to Miss International. Yeah. 
and there is still a group of competitors that want to pursue that route. It's like it was the end. All right, y'all. Wait a minute. Damn it! Why do you always try to cut off my video before I do my outro? It's your girl, some told your boy, Charlotte Carolina, and you know my slogan: We trying to help the world, so help me hold them. All right, look. Um, I got the cartoon coming. I was gonna do a different one, but since y'all like the female bodybuilders, I'll push back the one I did before, and I'll do one on female bodybuilders in a little bit. Love y'all. Be back with another one. Bye, bitches. Bye. Bye.